two. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm morning, evening, wherever you may be. This is Ethan Klein, host of the world's most prolific podcast, the most serious and fantastic podcast. We have with us Baby Yoda, famous mm-hmm. from the new Star Wars show. So sweet, little Alfredo. Mm. Um, Ela, how are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for the update. Mm -hmm. Today's episode is sponsored by Quip and DoorDash. Later today, we have the Shoe Nice on the podcast. It's happening, folks. (laughs) After the break, Shoe Nice will be joining us. The one and only, the ultimate slammer, the grand slammer, the alcohol slammer. He's hit his head many times, we learn. Mm -hmm. And um, the slammer of his head. It's all happening with Shoe Nice. Right, Elo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of slamming, let me show you this video. This I couldn't stop laughing at. Now, I'm assuming, where, where, does this happen in China? Or like, where? I've seen someone pull this move before um, where they take a dump and then they just let it fall to the ground through their pants. <laughs> like, I, I, how does that maneuver even work? Because. Here, watch this guy. You see how he just dropped some turd out of his pants? He's like Shawshank Redemption, like a prisoner, you know, dropping dirt. So you kind of told a story where you pooped your pants in Vegas? No, but this guy, those were like solid nuggies. Like, that was premeditated. (laughs) I had an accident where shit slid down my leg. You don't think this is an accident? Those are solid nugs, dude. Look at it. (laughs) That guy just shit his pants, like, straight up. While walking. (laughs) I mean, what do you guys think? That that's a pre-meditated ne- uh, nuggy drop. Yeah, really, hundred percent. What is that, bro? You're in a mall. There's, uh, but no wiping. And you know, if you're when you're walking, that shit's got to get smashed between your cheeks. Like, he's what? trying to play it off like uh, he's on the phone and shit. Yeah, so love, no one notices. I love how he's on the phone. Yeah, like, <laughs> nobody's hey, nobody suspects anything from someone on the phone. Well, here's the best part. That's not the best part. So homie leaves a little shit bomb on the floor. Fast forward, and then this dude's just going about his day, and he steps in the shit. (laughs) And I'm just thinking to myself, try 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 to understand that that you slid in human shit. (laughs) Dude (laughs) slid in human shit. He's so confused. He like can't move now. (laughs) <laughs> this looks like China. I mean, just because everyone looks Asian. And I feel like that's something that would happen in China. If I can, if I may say so. Just like you look, you're like, oh, what did I slip on? And then you're like, it's human shit. <laughs> you would never expect that. There would be human shit, bro. So He doesn't know awesome. what to do, where to go. <laughs> Isn't that the best? Yeah. <laughs> I love that man. I had a good time watching that, dude. <laughs> mm. Moving on, we've got a lot of good videos here to start the day off. Get warmed up for shoe nice. Kids Bop Mom, have you seen this? This is a somewhat viral clip of a uh, cute too. A nice I'm pedestrian. This <laughs> shot. No, Can you start it's over? My, it's my yeah. yeah, here, Eli. The way it starts. Well, tell me what you think of this lady. Thank you too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you are? No, it's my, it's my, it's it my fault. It is your fault. Yeah, I know it's my fault. That's why I'm, I'm saying sorry. Eh? She thinks it's cute that her driver almost hit my kids, and she thinks she needs to take a video of it instead of apologizing like a sick. Okay. Stopping then, in the okay. middle of the road is gonna help. You being a bitch is gonna help. I'm insane. I don't know. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay, I'm sorry. He it's apologized. My, it's, my, it's, it's my fault. He apologized. Yeah, I know. It's and my... you know what? It, that didn't upset me. But yeah. the bitch ass hoe sorry. that told I'm me just... to calm down. What is that? <laughs> what I'd like you to do is apologize instead of being a bitch. You're calling me sorry, but you're calling me a bitch. I'll oh, set, sorry. An, set an example. I'm sorry. My kids can't hear me calling you a bitch. Your window's open. They can't hear me because they're listening to kids bop. <laughs> Attitude? Oh, Sucks okay. dick. <laughs> Explain that, because on one hand she's it feels like she's doing shtick. I could, uh, my kids can't. Yeah, like she's doing a shtick. 
What? My kids can't hear me because they're listening to Kid Bop. Kids Bop. Like, but she's, I don't know. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> What do you think of that? I, mean, I don't know. This is, she's kind of scary, but kind of funny. Mm-hmm. It's a weird one. Shoe Nice. Shoe Nice's yeah. mom. Shoe Nice is a perfect Calm soulmate. Down. Calm down. It's okay. I'm sorry. He apologized. It's, it's, it's my fault. He apologized. Yeah, I know. It's and my you know what? It, that didn't upset me. But yeah. the bitch ass hoe sorry. that told me to calm down. Do it. <laughs> What I'd like you to do is apologize instead of being a bitch. You're calling me sorry, but you're calling me a bitch. I'll oh, set, sorry. An, set an example. I'm sorry. My kids can't hear me calling like you a Like she's doing an accent. Yeah. Right? She's putting on shtick. <laughs> That's what I don't get. Is she trying to make fun of her or like that what she I'd sounds like, like a valley girl? Apologize yeah, instead I guess. Of being a bitch. You're calling me sorry, but you're calling me a bitch. I'll oh, set she an, doesn't set an example. I'm sorry. <laughs> My kids can't hear me calling you a bitch. Your window's open. They can't hear me because they're listening to kids bop. <laughs> like, why would you just <laughs> fake? You know what I mean? It's too funny. Might be fake. Kids bop. And then what does she say after? <laughs> here's the problem with YouTube today. Yeah. Oh, here's the source. Oh, this originated on Imager? How is that possible? Here's the problem with YouTube. Zoinks. <laughs> uh, this video only has 2 million views. If this was posted 15 years ago, this video would have 150 million. But mm -hmm. the algorithm, we don't get the love for these viral videos anymore. Mm -hmm. Kids Bob Karen, it's called. <laughs> Hello, that's got all the recipe, all the necessary <laughs> ingredients for a mega viral hit. And we don't get to enjoy these on a, on a humanity scale. Where mm -hmm. Kids Bob Karen isn't part of the common vernacular. And I think that's a goddamn shame that YouTube needs to address this shit. I don't feel like it's fake. Do, do you really? Mm, I don't no. know, but uh, how is she real? Mm. How is Shunice real? Shunice is realer than... <laughs> as real as it gets. It says, This happened to a friend of mine in New York City, and it's a wild ride start to finish. The backstory is she was in a lift ride in New York City, and the driver cut someone off, and Karen lost it. <laughs> Kids Bob Karen. Can you play? What does she say at the end? I think it's a goddamn shame that everyone in America hasn't seen this. Open. They can't hear me because they're listening to kids bop. Attitude it's sucks okay. dick. Uh -huh. Your attitude sucks dick. <laughs> that was awesome though. I feel like my parents would enjoy that. Like, why is YouTube not showing that to my parents? Mm. I found the same video on uh, Twitter. It has six million views there. Okay, so so why is you do you see what the shame is? Dropping the ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why are we getting viral clips on Twitter? Can you try to find it on Facebook? They're I like, if well, it's only one minute, so we're not promoting one minute videos. You're exactly right, Hila. That's exactly what's happening. And there's cursing in it. They're like, well, fuck that. Right. We can't make money from it either, so obviously we're not going to show it to anyone. You know. Try to find that on Facebook. I bet it has like a billion views. <laughs> Meanwhile, Facebook doesn't give a shit. They're monetizing like Russian propaganda. They're like monetizing ISIS <laughs> videos over on Facebook. They don't give a shit. They're like, did you ever dream of a better life? Join beautiful ISIS. Actually, speaking of ISIS, there's this great story of a girl, an American girl. She went to join ISIS, got married to an ISIS fighter, had a baby. And now she wants to move back to America. And and then the, a judge who oversaw her case said, she's not American anymore. Her, mm. her, her citizenship is gone when she went and joined ISIS. And she's all crying like, dude, I didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to join ISIS and death to America. And I just, I really just wanted to find a better life for my family and ISIS where we decapitate people on the weekends. My husband died. He was hung for not loving uh, Muhammad more. And the, the states was like, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> My kids are listening to Kids Bob. <laughs> Let's Google some ISIS videos. Ooh, why, why that was a deep cut. That? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Zach is going deep, deep, deep into the meme hole there. Um, she was doing all this ISIS propaganda about death to American stuff before she moved there. She was encouraging people to do terrorist attacks in America. And now she wants to come back? What happened to ISIS, dude? Weird. 
How do you go from living in America to <coughs> ISIS? I don't know. She was radicalized online, they say, but I don't know. That happened a lot to people in Europe and the UK, too, who they leave to go join ISIS, and then they want to come back when it didn't work out. The ISIS <laughs> thing, American. it didn't really work out. Can I come back to civilization now? No, bitch. You stay, nope. in, the, you stay in the desert. I love that. It's like a full-on justice boner. <laughs> um, guys, there is so much happening at Popeye's. <laughs> There's actually now a subreddit called Popeye's Freakout that is purely dedicated to sub uh, Popeye's uh, Popeye's violets and freakouts. Should Can I say you that even again? Talk? Should I say that again? <laughs> There's a subreddit, Popeye's Freakout, <laughs> that is dedicated solely to the violence and freakouts over Popeye's, and they have tons of submissions. There's so much content going on. It's a, it's, it's not just a coincidence. There is a phenomenon of Popeye's, of people fighting and beefing and dying. What are they putting in the food? Because I feel like something doesn't make sense. You know? A little could be conspiracy. Government exper- yeah, no, it could be government experimenting on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> certainly could be. They're doing some chemical experiments that they want to like, <laughs> dro- drop on like rural areas of enemy states to make them all just go crazy. Well, here's a new one. Um, the employees get into a brawl now at Popeyes. It's not even the customers. That's what I'm saying. There, there's something in those sandwiches. <laughs> it's just an all-out brawl over at Popeyes, dude. Look at that. Oh my God. It's like five girls just throwing punches. Look how many workers they have uh, there. Take too. it off the screen because I it gets it's just a little too violent. But let's hear the audio. We good? Yeah, you're good. I'll just describe the man. I think there's like five girls just slapping and punching. They got that Popeye's chicken sandwich coursing through their veins. Damn. It's like steroids. They call that roid rage. They call that Popeye's rage. Fucking awesome, dude. Herbs and spices. The herb, right. Oh wait, that's Look sorry. That's KFC. Never mind. That's what I'm saying. The how no- is there so many employees? It's like a tiny little Dude, Popeyes. They move a lot of chicken. They've been busy. These <laughs> they last move a weeks. lot of chicken. <laughs> yeah. You don't see fights at KFC. You never saw fights at KFC. You never saw fights at Chick Fil A. Why is Popeyes? What is going on at Popeyes? There are a lot of fights at McDonald's, I want to point out. Mm. Well, uh, That's kind of its own subgenre of videos. McDonald's brawls? We, have, we haven't delved into that much on the podcast, but I, I've been a connoisseur of the McDonald's brawl video really? for, for a while. Yeah, I could curate some for you for so, the next episode if you like. What was the, like, Popeye, the character? Mm-hmm. He, used, he was a fighter. He used to eat spinach, right? And oh, then he would get all... Yeah, he was a fighter. You're so right. So they, they ate it's... the chicken. And they, they get all jacked. crazy. <laughs> huh. That's wow. why it's called Popeyes. I Popeye. made that connection. That's brilliant. That's it. That is super interesting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, think they're, I think they're doing civilian <laughs> testing. And instead of going to war, they just drop chicken sandwiches over Iraq. And the civilian population goes ballistic and turns on each other. Yeah. What's well, a zombie then uprising? It makes more sense than what I'm seeing in front of me. Zach says I didn't like the sandwich. You didn't like Zach? Why don't you talk? <laughs> first of all, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't like the sandwich. At that's all. that's so weird because you yeah, like that's so you like weird. everything. Bro. It was so plain. But <laughs> what? did you try the spicy one? Yeah. You didn't like it? No. I danced for that sandwich, dude. <laughs> I, well, yeah, I just didn't like it. Weird. Very you didn't, weird. Did you get the urge to, like, strangle anybody? No, I Also, just, there were no fights in the one you went to, right? There was no one there. I think you went to, like, a bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> Good event. Probably. <laughs> I, I won't say where you went, but you, yeah. you told me, and it was a pretty bougie neighborhood. I think you might need to... Predominantly uh, white area, yes. So those guys Wrong. don't know Popeyes how to make too. the chicken. Yeah, no, that'd be yeah, fucked could, up. Could you be. gotta go to, like, you gotta go to Central L.A. To yeah, go to La Brea. But I, got, I got two of them. And it was soggy, and yeah, that's not because there's nobody there buying the no chicken. Way. You got to get it fresh. Who, who was the worker white? Uh, don't you? Want uh, no. Oh, the worker was black. Yes. Interesting. Can we not make it about race? <laughs> Dan once again brought it up. I'm following his cue. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm just saying. This is a conversation about chicken. Look, we have to be uh, realistic and about here. Tasty food. He went to a Popeyes and like a couple of conspiracies. Deep Valley. There's there uh, there's not many black people out in that area. No, almost none. Yeah, 
And the chicken, incidentally, is also horrible. Uh, so guess what? They also don't know how to make tasty chicken. But this those could be like a... White people. Those valley people. Could be like a conspiracy <laughs> theory. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we have to keep making this about race, though. I didn't. We already got in trouble about it. Am I being uh, not woke right now? I don't know. I would like you to wake up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm slept. I'm sleeping on Popeye. Well, I don't know. I I would challenge you to go to a Popeye's in the more inner city area, Zach, and do a, and let me know if that one's better. Okay, I'll I'll do that. Yeah, I'm going to report do that. back. Okay, yeah. that would be a good experiment. I mean, actually. just 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 being honest, because I feel like it was really tasty. And bring your brass knuckles. And Zach especially loves everything. That's, yeah, that's, that's true. wrong. Something doesn't make sense. No, here. no. no, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Can you do that before Friday? I really want to. I mean, yeah, you yeah, like yeah. the like Arby's Mountain too. Yeah, that was that was an experience. I haven't eaten meat since we <laughs> since that meat mountain touched my lips. <laughs> Turn you vegetarian. I'm vegetarian. I am on a feeding window. People are telling me I've been losing weight. I have onlookers and people passing by saying, "Ethan, you've lost weight." So I can see it. Just. People on the street? People on the street are saying it. So here. Word, literally word on the street is that you lost weight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn, dude. I don't, I'm not, skept, I'm not stepping on a scale. I don't want to know the truth. I think that I just want to keep going window style, vegetarian style. Hila says she thinks I've lost weight. I have to tell you I have some tight-fitting pants that feel a little bit looser. When I look at myself in the mirror, I still look fat as ever. But there's a lot of places in my body where I could lose fat. In my face, in my arms, in my legs, in my thighs, in my ass. I pack on fat in a lot of places. My stomach's not the only place. So it could be burning out all over the place. I don't want to measure myself because mm -hmm. I'm afraid that I will still be as fat as I ever was. And I'll be totally, I'll but just be destroyed. And I'm just going to, Right. And know. it's all about, like... You're trying, you're, I mean, I don't want to speak for you, but it sounds like you're trying to change a lifestyle, which would be something that would take a while and not, not a, a quick diet. Exactly. So I'm afraid if I step on the scale, I'll have like gained three pounds. No, uh, but. Or let's okay. say, uh, well, I'll be happy with anything, but if it's like the same, I'll just be gutted. Mm -hmm. The last time I lost a ton of weight, I never stepped on the scale. Mm. Okay. I didn't even measure myself before. I was like, I'm too fat. Let's do something about this. <laughs> and you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm tired, man. Let's just have a dead okay. air sleep moment. Guys, don't go away. Shoe Nice is coming I mean, next. sometimes when I complain about the, like, that I feel like that the show was boring or something, people will say that they would literally watch us do anything. Do we want to so, put that to the test? <laughs> yeah. You want to just have me... <laughs> sitting Just quietly in my nap. chair. <laughs> you guys gonna watch me take a nap? No, but the shoe nice is coming up, and you definitely don't want to miss the shoe nice experience. Let me show you this Popeyes freakout subreddit. I mean, let's sort by top of all time. It's the thing. Of, if you want to compare this to McDonald's, Dan, I refute that. I feel like that. this subreddit was like made five days ago or something. Because I looked, and it was. Yeah, I think this is a well. First it's a new show. phenomenon. Yeah. Mm, okay. I mean, here's a brawl in the parking lot. Some dude touched his truck. And he goes, the the sound is important here. Let's let's crank that up. He hit his truck. Uh oh, big mistake. Big mistake. Don't ever hit my truck, bitch. He sounds like Kenny Powers. Remember that show? Don't ever touch my truck, bitch. He totally sounds like Kenny Powers. Crazy. He's like some pseudo tough guy that beat up some like old drunk dude. Well, there you go. Here's two white people having a brawl, so. Exactly. Don't ever hit my truck, bitch. That's a total Kenny Powers impersonator. <laughs> so there you have it. Two white dudes just getting to this heart of it. Here's the employees. We saw that one. Popeye's chicken sandwich fight. Yeah, baby. I think I watched this one. It was just kind of boring. Um... When am I going to turn this on? This is what on? we just watched. Oh, okay. Thank you, Hila. Here's... Here's a good one. Mother God! <laughs> oh, Nana oh, gets slammed. That's, that's slam. a favorite. Nana got slammed hard, bro. This one was awesome. I actually haven't seen the full video. It's all cut up, but this is the full one. And the guy in the car is like... Bro, this, this grease stain looks like her fucking brain fluids. <laughs> I really should not show that. Well, what I can I? A little bit of it. 
when you, you first turned it on. Though. Well, we can go oh. back. We can go back. I think it's fine. Nana got slammed. She had it coming. Whoa. I think she just threw feces at her. <laughs> she just threw some regurgitation. Oh, let's see it. Ooh, she threw the sandwich at her. Uh oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you you guys get the idea. It's people fighting at Popeyes. So, do you think we showed too much of Nana getting slammed? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty violent. So, know. what do we can we go back and just do a blur or a cut of the Nana getting slammed part? I guess blur. we have a unique circumstance today because of the shoe nice thing. So, sure. <laughs> let's cut Nana getting slammed. Nana getting Let's slammed. cut Nana getting slammed. Even though slammed. she had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> she did. That's what we call reparations. All right. Uh, oh, this is amazing. Eric Stallworth, or, or, Starwell ripping ass on people. <laughs> Stallwell. <laughs> What's this guy, a senator or some shit? <laughs> Uh, representative. I think he's, he's a running for president. But I, was. See, it, it, I think he just oh, this idiot's out. running oh, for pres. Yeah, he was in the it first was. couple debates. Yeah. I, I think he's he's failed at this point. Ask. Well, I'll tell you what. His career is over after this. <laughs> Watch this. The Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. And the <laughs> that's real. Y'all think I'm faking it? I got got a secondhand footage of someone recording it on their TV. I have some updates on this though. Oh, oh, this is a whole scandal. Uh, Go ahead. No. Well, so don't tell me that it's fake. There's a no. It's not that it's fake, but there's a couple angles to this. One, there there is a a poster on Twitter. I'll send it on Discord right now. Who um, I believe claims he used to work at the network at NBC, and that the host of this segment, Chris Matthews, is a notorious office farter, and he what? thinks it was from the studio. Mm, well, I'll tell you what, Dan. The guy pauses though. He does. It, it sure he looks pa- like he's well, pushing one out. <laughs> yeah. the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. <laughs> he, he accommodated it in his speech. There was I an agree. Actual pause. I agree. But there's there's some pushback, and then and then another twist. The show itself tweeted. Oh. They're claiming that it was a coffee mug that was scraping across the desk. Wrong. What? Let me yeah. listen closely. Help him cheat an election. <laughs> that was, bro, you'd have to like push down with a lot of force to create that sound. Yeah, I just sent you the tweet. That's This is it's just the claim of the network. An election. He paused, dude. He's, that he, guy just and he his moved pants, a little. I, I, I agree. So then if you move on, here it is from someone recording a TV screen just so you know it's real. Ila, uh, to, to alleviate any doubt on this conspiracy. Dude, everyone watching must have been like, what? <laughs> Live. <laughs> Dude, your career is over! Dude, that guy can never be president. <laughs> Right? If he wants to run again, they'll be like, so what happened in your past? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anderson <laughs> Cooper. In uh, 2019, did. Uh, you did this this CNN interview. So he says, this guy, Aaron. Yeah, this is the guy was saying, it is positing that it was in fact Chris Matthews because he is. He's, I never heard. Okay. As a guy who has uh, reveled for years in the fact that Chris Matthews loves to blast hot clouds on live TV. I'm here to clear Eric Stallwell's name. Well, the, okay. Here, there's here. no T. Stallwell. No Swalwell. T. Swalwell. It's Swalwell. <laughs> More like Fartwell on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like. First, uh, blah, blah, blah for Exhibit B. Oh, he, so he has, he has so the receipts. Of New York. But what's different is today is that the U.S. Bro, Attorney this guy law. actually brought receipts. Okay. Here's Chris Matthews. <laughs> and said that when he pleaded guilty to these charges in the Southern District of <laughs> oh. Dude, it was Chris. I totally <laughs> believe it. And said that when he pleaded guilty to these charges in the Southern What, do they have a mic on his asshole? <laughs> How does the fart so loud? Dude, can you like, you could, should be able to like spread your cheeks and let it out more silently. He's got a bunch of videos. Oh, hold it in. No, don't say that. <laughs> what was that? That was Zach. Hard ball, more like hard wet wow, fart. What a and with me now is Scott Arsenault. He's the executive director of the Florida Democratic Party, and Bob Strum is a Democratic strategist who's been through a lot of these races. Scott, just give me the skinny here. The Can skinny. we get a clean, fair, honest? <laughs> Yo, what on earth? Okay, it was definitely him. 
<laughs> Dude, he totally framed him. Nice that was a hit job. Car balls on fair. Chris Matthews about to rip ass right a lot for this kind of case. Here it comes. So that really <laughs> depends on how it's ultimately structured. If they were able to make some sort of attack. <laughs> you hear that? Rip. <laughs> it depends on how it's ultimately structured. If they were able to make some sort of attack. <laughs> well, dude, you it's so messed up. He's framing all these poor people. That's I'm actually. Not fair. Yeah, I'm convinced, man. Told you. And and then, again, I, I sent you another tweet, which was from his show, Hardball. It said, sorry to disappoint the conspiracy theorists. It was a hashtag hardball mug scraping across no. the desk. No way. Dude, just own it, you blasted ass. Dude, give me a mug. Bring me a mug. I swear to God, someone grab me a mug right now. All right, one sec. I'm going to tell you, there's no way to produce that sound. Unless you're, <laughs> like, with a lot of force pushing down. Um... Oh my god, there's water in it. In my, <laughs> there's water on my laptop now. Why'd you give me a mug with water? <laughs> Alright, back to the... Do you see that? Like, if you just put, glide it... Yeah. But you have, first of all, push it really hard, but... Yeah. How do you produce that sound? I mean, unless there's, like, rubber on the bottom. Why would there be rubber on the bottom? Kind of I don't know. Rubber on the bottom. Interesting. Well, I just did a whole 180 on Eric. So Eric can be uh, president. Poor Eric. Uh, Half Life is back. After a decade of silence, Half Life has announced. Actually, the announcement comes on Thursday. They're going to give all the details. But um, Half Life is back. It's coming out for VR yeah, in early 2020, and I. Never thought I was going to... I think I'm setting up a VR room. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, Valve has created this crazy VR technology where your fingers track in the game and you're grabbing shit. Oh my it's God. like so realistic. This is their first flagship VR game. I've played all the Valve games in the current uh, VR headset for... What's the name of Steam's current VR headset? Oh, uh... They just released it, right? The no, one that we no. have at home. Yeah, the one we have at home. Just made by... for us. Uh, why am I blank? Can it's something with a V? The, the Vive. The Vive. Vive, yeah. <laughs> the Vive is amazing. I've played all of VR uh, Valve's games on Vive, and they're like yeah. mind blowing, amazing. And I was like, these guys are working on something crazy. I know it. I think I even said on the show. I think Half Life Three is going to be a VR game. It's not Half Life Three. I think you did say that at some point. I think I said it. Go back into the log. So wait. So it's not three. It's Half Life Alex, which is uh, another character in the Half Life series. So it's a new series. Well, I think what it is is it's basically a prequel to Half Life Two. Which takes place Better with call Alex call. before the events of Half Life Two took place, but um, oh, dude, that's gonna be so sick! You can track your fingers, bro. Yeah, I've uh, I've not had that in a a home thing, but you know, there's the I have done that VR stuff where it tracks your fingers at that, you know what it's uh, it's called like the Void or something. Mm -hmm. It's like it's at like a mall or something. It's like huh. a thing you go to. And you, oh, you go through like a right, whole maze and right. everything. So it's a whole new. Um, it's new shit. It's, it's a new, new technology. New yeah. one that you would have to buy. Like the Vive is not. I think it's not Vive. You've got it's a big investment. It's super expensive. I read it mm -hmm. cost a thousand dollars just for the VR pieces, and then I think it probably plugs into the computer on top of it. It's a very expensive. And the expensive. whole thing is so expensive because you gotta have a good computer. You to need run an awesome it, gaming computer, and you need and like your uh, empty room. You need a exactly. You have to be. You have to basically be rich. Like you, you need. Have to, um, you have a three thousand dollars gaming to play that. <laughs> exactly. It's it's pretty outrageous. Um, but somehow I'm sure that everyone's gonna buy it because <laughs> it's Half Life. You can't not buy it. And I'm I'm hoping that they they accounted for that and you like, even though it's designed for that, you'll hopefully be able to play it without VR too. But yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, here's what I think the future of VR. I feel is. like they have to. No. I don't think that you shouldn't need to stand up and walk around. That's just outrageous and it's so limiting. What I think VR needs to be and what I think they might be doing is that you can just sit in your seat with the VR set. You use your hands to control the game. You can turn, right? Because it's wireless. 
you can turn and shit like that in your chair. But uh, forcing someone, first of all, to have but a whole empty room exists. is that no sitting and playing. Well, I don't think it's optimized for that. Most games are optimized for standing and walking around. And okay. I think the whole standing and walking around thing is kind of a gimmick anyway. If I'm being honest, because everyone's uh, lazy. You don't. You, yeah, and it, you don't. You don't need that to be immersed. So what I think is going to happen is that this game's going to be played sitting down. And then you don't need the whole room. You don't need a whole room. You probably hold something in your hand that's a controller, you know, that controls like directional and shit like that. Haven't we tried something like that at Justin's? I mean, like all the, the VR I tried in like the vibes. Sony amazing. or something that it's just a set that you you sit. You don't need to. Oh, stand. the the PlayStation VR. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think it'll be like that. Okay. Um. Half Life Three, baby, let's go! I'm getting worried about that because I like watching you play. You can that watch. Game. You set up a second screen, which means you have to be even richer. <laughs> <laughs> but then I don't get to watch it in VR. You can get. We could probably get you VR glasses. That's like the, the bougiest that's shit ridiculous. ever. Ridiculous. The dogs will get the dogs VR yeah. <laughs> Theodore, so we can watch. <laughs> I agree. I don't. That's why I've always thought VR is kind of a gimmick. I just don't see it. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna give it a shot. If they can't do it, nobody can. So let's see what's up. Jake Paul cries after Logan Paul loses a meme album. Uh, meme album. But we're at 30 minutes, so I'll save these for Friday. With that being said, we're gonna throw it to a quick commercial break. When we come back. Shunice. The world will never be the same because Shunice is joining us via Skype. He has a phobia of flying, so he was unable to make it out of here. He's also, I guess, you know. And he did say that if he's going to take a train here, it's on one-way ticket for him. So that was a lot of responsibility for us to... Uh, what is that? What did that... What does that mean, that he's going to bunk <laughs> that, up with that, us? That, that he's not going back. I don't know what that means. Yeah, let's... Well, <laughs> let, let's take this relationship one thing at a time. Let's not discuss one-way tickets just yet. <laughs> with that being said, guys, Shoe Nice on Skype... The world will never be the same. Either way. Either way. After this commercial break. So stick around. We will see you in a short moment. Thank you, guys. Quip is the gift you need to give yourself this holiday season because you only get one first impression. And you better make sure your teeth look beautiful and that your breath is fresh and golden as it gets. That's where Quip comes in. Quip.com slash H3. You're going to get this beautiful electric toothbrush. It's got perfect soft bristles so that you can do the two minutes you're supposed to. It vibrates when you click the button. It pulsates every 30 seconds to make sure that each quadrant of your mouth is getting that perfect dentist recommended brush so that your breath is clean. And with that mistletoe's overhead, you're not ready to peck. You're ready to French. Right, Hila? Mm -hmm. It doesn't even matter if it's your aunt or even your mom. It should matter. matter. It should matter. Uh, listen, they've got uh, they've now got floss dispensers that come with pre-marked string to help you get just enough floss. They deliver fresh brush heads, floss, and toothpaste to your door every three months with free shipping. So your routine is always the right one. Join over three million healthy mouths and get Quip today, starting at just twenty five dollars. And if you go to getquip.com slash h3 right now, you'll get your first refill pack for free. That's your first refill pack for free at getquip.com slash h3. Spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash h3. Quip, the good habits company. Door dash, baby. They're going to bring food to you anywhere from anywhere. Whatever you want at any time. It's DoorDash! You got a long day at work. You lazy at home. Do your parents not pack you lunch anymore and you still haven't gotten over that even though you have to prepare meals for yourself? Are you crushing it at work laser focus, and you don't want to bring yourself away? These are all legitimate reasons to order yourself DoorDash. Or hey, how about the reason that I always order from DoorDash? I'm just too lazy and I don't feel like cooking. How about that? I mean, that's why people order food, right? Let's, let's forget about, let's not lie to ourselves. DoorDash connects you to your favorite restaurants in your city. 
Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose whatever you want to eat, and your food will be delivered to you wherever you are. Not only is your favorite restaurant pizza joint already on DoorDash, but there are over 340,000 restaurants and 3,300 cities, so you might even find a new one you like, too. With door-to-door delivery in over 50 states and Canada, Order from your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, The Cheesecake Factory. Mm. Don't worry about that. Let's let dinner come to you with DoorDash. Check this out right now. Our listeners get $5 for free off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo promo code H3. Let me repeat that because was that too good to be true? No. $5 for free off your first order of over... $15 $15 when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code H3. Don't forget, that's promo code H3 for a free $5 off your first order from DoorDash. Let's get that food moving, son. That's their slogan that I just made up. That's not really their slogan. <laughs> DoorDash, let's get that food moving, boy. And now the moment you've all waited for, the great Shoe Nice. Shoe, for short, we like to call him Mr. Shoe, as a sign of respect and reverence. The great early YouTuber. Uh, a YouTube legend. YouTube legend. The man, the fact that he's even alive is a miracle. He's eaten everything from deodorant to tampons and everything in between. Glue, glass, you name it. He's eaten it. Um, the only thing he hasn't eaten is me, incidentally, which I am afraid of. <laughs> but let's get to the bottom of that now. Introducing the incredible, everlasting, the unkillable, <laughs> shoe nice. Ooh. Welcome to the show, shoe nice. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> yeah. After seventeen years in dog years, we're here, bro. So, so shoe, tell me this. You know, I've been trying to get you in here for a while. You says that you cannot fly, so we've got you here via Skype. What's the deal with the flying? Well, basically, just coming. Is that I'm coming back on you? Or are you good? Go ahead. No, okay, because, all right, I just didn't know if you were getting the echo I was getting. I just oh, you're getting an echo. Of, no, 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 I'm fine, but I just got these at 7 Eleven. So I actually <laughs> turned down my iPhone. No, you're going. He gave me a $10 deal. He said, You do you nice. You do nice. No, we're great. All right, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as it works on and your And the end. tape is great, too, by the way. Nice touch. But and you that's can't for, why can't you fly? It just, <laughs> all right, I crashed in a helicopter in Desert Storm. We flew home over the ocean coming home, and we dropped like 300 feet, whatever that is, and all everybody's partying with the flight attendants. Ten minutes later, the flight attendants were like, (laughs) and I was just like, I just can't fly, but a train Uh, takes me to California, but I don't take a return. So what you're you're saying is that um, you have some kind of trauma with, with flying. Uh, yeah, I took four Xanax. I was banned from Southwest for a week going to Vegas. The lady's like, this guy's a freak because she handed me a vodka and ice. And I said, oh, man, you forgot the vodka. And she went up to the captain and said, he's a, a threat. And they're like, no, he isn't. We just gave him Xanax. So I fall asleep. I get up to go to the bathroom and the, the captain comes on. The thing goes, uh, C-231, please stay seated uh, till we receive you with the authorities. Wow. So we land in Vegas, and the cops are like, okay, where is he? And the captain's like, this guy. What? And all the people coming off the plane are like, it wasn't him. It was her. And they just started screaming all this shit at her and everything. See how I can swing my head with the gorilla tape? Yeah, that's fantastic. You really, so you're really, you a gorilla yourself. So what What did they accuse you of on the airplane? Because that's a fascinating story that, got, that you kind of um, yada yada too quickly over. <laughs> right, right. We got plenty of time on the Ethan podcast. So yeah. anyways, Tosh.0 <laughs> oh, just hurried me. Oh, my God. They showed me a big wheel, and I had to say, it used to be a kid on it. You're way better than Tosh. Oh, thank they gave you. Me, they gave me 300 subscribers the next day. I'm hoping 3,000. Oh, so, 3 so million, baby. I'll throw in that during this whole conversation. 3 million. But I want to know what happened. Joe Simpson. Simpson. <laughs> All right, but anyway, so I get off the plane and the cops are there. Yeah. And everybody's like, and the, he asks the captain, he's like, do you want him to be a permanent, uh, what do you call when you're just flight flying? Risk. No, no flight. Yeah. No, flight risk, no flight. You're anymore. basically you're basically in the same category as ISIS. And the, 
<laughs> the cat then looked at the lady, and then, ah, oh, no, she's always a bitch. So I walked out of this um, Las Vegas airport with the Nevada cops watching me eat a roll of toilet paper on YouTube. And that's where I started just getting really popular. But what did they accuse you of doing yeah, on the plane? Dude and, and what, did, what did what did what did what did they think you did on the airplane to call the police? Oh, I I, I was annoying a lady, but I was telling jokes. I was doing stand up. Oh. I just turned around. He was and doing said, his alcohol stunts. That they got no, they no, got no, worried. No, no. Were you slamming <laughs> bo bottles? <laughs> well, I'm going to apologize to Ela right now, but we'll get into that after we tell the whole YouTube story. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Sorry, okay, Ela, so so. But, okay, apology accepted. Yeah, um, cool, I believe cool. you, you're apologizing if I if I'm correct for calling her an Israeli whore. <laughs> no, a whore from Israel. Big whore from Israel. Yeah. <laughs> Big if she was from Tennessee, it would have been a slut from Tennessee. But you can't say. Yeah. I didn't even know what red pilled was. She right. posted that on my Twitter. She said, "You better eat more toilet paper, shoe nice with all that." shit coming out of your right. mouth right. and then you said oh Good my memory. god dude you gotta Good settle memory. down and i said finally some subscribers <laughs> <laughs> is that why you do what you do shoe nice because you... you guys four years before that right so you know well thank you is that why we you did do... too by the way we were watching your videos like a long time ago well who hasn't i mean shoe nice yeah. <laughs> when you posted that i didn't even know who filthy frank was mm. i'm like who's this dude hanging out with ethan saying i can't but you fed so many mcdoubles <laughs> i had so many emails I we gave 30 mcdoubles out to people so that's your fourth most viewed video that's on right. your main channel Thank, yeah. and i'm proud of it you called me the moral center of youtube that's right bro. true i, I was just like this guy. I remember you just, I ain't going to say nothing. Vape Nation. But we got to shut Vape Nation down. I'm just saying we'll be a whole nother entity. Well, you're saying you want to blaze? After this. No, I don't want to vape. Oh, We're going to be the next jackass minus the ass, bro. Just the jack. <laughs> oh, you want to get drunk. <laughs> No, nah. oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the story. So, so you want me so to So, Shu, you, you, born? well, you, you said that you were just happy about the subscribers. So, is that why you do what you do? Because no, at no, certain no, times, no. I was in a blackout, drunken state. You guys blocked me on an email, but I was driving out to meet you in Joey's World Tour. <laughs> yeah, just a fat dude with a tuna sub in his chin, and I'm just like, "All right, Ethan just blocked me on um, email. I can understand that. I sent him forty of." them made five videos saying screw you guys and then joey's world tour said his cousin died in san diego hmm. and i'm like wait hold on the whole thing happened in three hours huh. you know so let me a, uh, do you want to so let, let's at least you didn't say that let's discuss this uh suppose you've held a grudge against us for a while because uh, by, by that's well, all hold character well, bro well hold on all right you've been upset Let's say yeah, not a grudge. Let's tone it down. You think we fucked you, you over? You said you wouldn't crush me. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> How many voices do you have going rattling around in your head? <laughs> I just got a three, three toilet paper when I cry. Oh my god. I just wanted to eat H3H3 off of toilet paper, but that's a good thing because I don't wipe my ass, bro. Mm. <laughs> my bad. Oh, my bad. I, I should slow down. We just started. Well, you, you go so fast. You like. Uh, it's true. I just, true. I just let you do your. Ethan, yeah. let me. If you can just say, hey, go ahead, chew nice and talk for 10 minutes, and you cut in on any kind of the story, I'll lead you up to Boogie being a scrub, Keemstar <laughs> punching Logan Paul in the face because I ain't no KSI. Okay, let's get to that. But the, uh, we'll, we'll we'll get to each one of those things. My bad. Put a put a pin in it. But uh, you. So let's get to this beef. You say that that we uh, blew you off. You wanted to come down to L.A. to do a collab. Now the way that I remember it is that you emailed us and you said, "Hey, I'm going to be in L.A." Right. So I, was I never. Driving there. Yeah. So so first of all, your account is that you came down to L.A. to meet us. And then right. we blew you off. But you emailed us and said, I'm going to be in L.A. And I said, that right. sounds interesting. Oh, that's right. So it looked like I was saying you already invited me and I was just going there to hang out yes. at a party. But and Joey's World Tour was going to have me in San Diego. But he said his cousin died. So I, you, I, I definitely will take that as the blame. Okay, okay, good. So, okay, that was easy. We cleared that right up. Yeah. <laughs> now tell me about, um, uh, you said something about uh, Boogie being a scrub. No. Oh, Boogie's he, the best. No, Boogie is cool guy, but what happened was I joined 
King of the Web. And mm-hmm. that's where I first got a lot of haters. I don't know if you knew this, but King of the Web, they just pay you cash for getting the most votes. So this fan came in and said, this dude's picking on me. Why don't you join King of the Web? I come in, I see, you know, some gangster from South Central running up against Jenna Marble's new boyfriend. I said, I'll try it. And my wolf pack just came in, and you can buy it. And we just fed in and fed in. We took so much money out of so you know many what he's people's talking pockets. About? No. You I don't no, follow. You, I shut it down. I shut it down. Right. Huh. Now, King of the Web is gone. You can ask anybody about right. it. If the real Shoe Nice Troopers know about King of the Web, but you could get paid big money. You would have been rich. And uh, gone now. let me ask you, Alice, you said something about punching Keemstar in the face? Uh, no, I never punched Keemstar. Didn't you say that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let me tell you something about Keemstar. Let's get right into the shoes. Yeah. I'm telling you, this dude sat there and said, oh, FML, Shoe Nice Rapes Kids. He found it off of a dude's wow. YouTube channel that's serving time in prison for child distribution. The irony. So I told Keemstar, you go ahead and you make a video about me raping kids. But here's the family's numbers. Here's the police reports. He blocked me on Twitter and never made that video. Hey, Keemstar, well, you'd like to, you better make something about me tomorrow. I'm on H3H3. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Now, tell me, are, sorry, you, sorry. are you at this very moment sober, Shoe Nice? <laughs> oh, man. I just ran out. I, I, I mean, I went down and I was given Halloween trick-or-treaters. You know, but I think I got one left in here. What we did is we just helped out the homeless on Thanksgiving. They don't want candy. They're no. Most of them have diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Either way, this goes out to... Probably Ethan out. Ilum yeah. In the what is that? Company. Before you drink it, show that to us. It says peppermint. Peppermint. Uh, it's 90, Ninety proof. proof. Wow, 90 that's proof. serious. You heard this crack of the seal, like most people on YouTube, they fake it. Well, but that's I've been not that big. liquor since eighth grade bus stop, bro. <laughs> eighth grade bus stop. But <laughs> I wanted to say a quick cheers. I don't care what anybody says about me, Ethan mm. and Ela. I just know you guys are a cool couple, relaxing. I don't look at your faces. I just listen to you, mm-hmm. and a lot of people just listen to you. You're good voice just like oh, me thank you. Oh. just like you know, here here's mark simpson having sex with the terminator <laughs> i don't think that's my vagina you're licking termy <laughs> you're not sawakana <laughs> get to the chopper <laughs> now shu um why is it how did you get into <laughs> sorry go ahead and take and how is no, it that fine. you said you started drinking when you're in eighth grade how does that come to be what kind of childhood leads to eighth grade uh, slamming of alcohol <laughs> thank you thank you thank you i came out of my mom's vagina in 1969 may 30th the doctor looked at me in the half-eaten umbilical cord and said we got a special one here I was born underneath my older brother, Jeff. He was the most corrupt one out of the three Shuey brothers. We didn't mean no harm, but we were just some crazy mofos. We were born to a young Irish lass, my mom, good people. My dad met her. He was an 18-year-old German. She was a 15-year-old Irish woman. Who knows what happens? Either way, we all came out and we all started growing up. I asked for a baby in a carriage, and my brother put gasoline on it and sent it down a hill in the neighbor's yard. He had just turned five. I was four, and my brother was two. We took Sharpies and drew them all over aluminum. House. We didn't mean to. We just were crazy. So nice. my have dad, you, my, sorry. Have you ever told the story to a therapist? <laughs> yeah, and they said... Sorry, son. There's <laughs> nothing we can do here. We'll get to that story, bro. So, anyways, so shoot. Tell, uh, I, I, I want to know. You can like, cut in any time you want. Yeah, I mean, the story was a bit of a non-linear story of your childhood. Um, we'll, we'll bounce through it. We'll get better. Once I start eating glue in elementary you, school and I go to the special room, that'll be good. So... When did you have your first drink of alcohol? Hey, let's take off our hats together right now, Ethan. Three, okay, sure. two, one. Whoa, Whoa, now that's the dome right there, my all dude. Right, Trader D. A. Albuquerque, <laughs> you're all under arrest. Now, Shu, tell me, when was the first time you you had alcohol? At what age? Um, we always had the pictures of our dad letting us drink bottles of beer, three, four years old. Every picture Are you in serious? our photo album. Uh, oh, my God. Every picture in our photo albums, the old ones where people had to put pictures in an album to enjoy memories. We will never hear that again. Uh, unless you're on Pawn Stars, and that's all fake. You guys are real. So anyways, yeah. Every, three, like, four, three to four years old. Was your father an alcoholic? 
Ethan and Ela, my parents drank so much beer when we were kids, we had to use their old koozies for arm floaties at the public pool. <laughs> my mom would cut the bottoms out. You laugh. They keep a grown man afloat. I'd have Lisa Beach on one arm, going fishing on the other. When I get to L.A., bro, this is just a little st- pot, but I'm going to get a <laughs> tree, tree underneath my shoe nice tattoo. That's real shoe nice. Now, shoot, do you? Yo, you got to appreciate that, bro. I got a little B on this arm. You know, little B is yeah, right. Yeah, of course, the base huh? god. <laughs> now, now, shoot, tell me this: when you talk is about your real, is it even real? When you talk I'm about sorry. your childhood and the floaties and the public pool, do you look back on your childhood fondly, or are you glad that you're now an adult There's on your never, own? Never, ever a time when I look back at my childhood. My father led his life by his dick. My mom was a drunk in a Chevy van. She'd go on cruises, and we were left home alone on a farm. We were kicked out of so many apartment buildings for shutting the power down when women were on oxygen tanks. We were on the front paper for starting a forest fire in a mountain. But I'm telling you right now, bro. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> Do you look back on your childhood fondly, or are oh, you no, glad bro, to I'm be? I'm always a- happy because me and my brothers were just nuts. My older brother, he was the like the, you. You got to do this now. That's how you're going to be a five year old. So he just do you, like just uh, when do, do you see yourself as like a normal human being or do you see yourself as someone that's just a little elevated in terms of the way that their mind works? It's it's not exactly easy to have a a one-on-one conversation with you. Are you aware of that fact? Are you just drunk or is there something else nah, going on? I'm sober, bro. So excited, but hey, you ever hear of acting, Ethan? You ever hear of shaking yeah. bass? Is that what you're do doing I look right now? Like Will Farrell do, or do I look like John are you, C. Riley, are you, are you, Shaking <laughs> Well, you do look baby. a little bit Shaking like them. Do you, are you acting right now? Is that what you're saying? I'm John Cena. And so Chris let's Farley turn off that. So let's turn off the acting and have a real conversation. Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hey, everyone. Shoe nice again. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I don't believe it. So how did you end up uh, <laughs> at what point? Oh, man. Eva had me cracking on my back. Shoe, at what point did you move out onto your own and separate from your parents? I was going to get to that, but you sk- you always interrupt people. I was going to get to that <laughs> in like two seconds. Mm. All right. So anyways, me and my brothers were crazy. My father was led by his dick. He divorced my mom. And eventually my mom was so crazy. The social services said, come get your kids. Kids, or we're gonna put you on. <laughs> we're gonna put them in a home and he, my father's a cool guy you know he likes pussy but so we went with my father so in fifth grade I started eating Elmer's glue I was just a champ remember Elmer's paste why did you start have? eating glue what was the motivation I for just like oh, man I wish I had some I just love glue just the I love I love the adhesives off of like Monopoly games oh man you ever a bit of a, taste? you know the show freaky eaters yeah, that's all fake. They wouldn't take me because I'm a real. I'm but a legend. Do you, but bro. do you see yourself as a freaky eater in that in that respect? No, no, no. I just love that shit. I, I always did it for money, dude. I'm not a mm. uh, what is it called? Pika paid in cash mm-hmm. always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you started eating glue. Is that when your mental state started to to, to deteriorate? Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> Oh, my God. Get out of here, March. I just want to say hi. <laughs> Don't you hit me again. I'm sorry. Who else is there? Uh, yeah. I, see, I heard March. I heard Schwarzenegger. <laughs> hey, Rocky's taking the shit. Hey, oh, okay. you, 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 me, you. <laughs> <laughs> so you were talking about you started eating Elmer's glue, and then that yeah. evolved into... I was always a performer, Ethan, and I was born with a beautiful smile for a Crest commercial. No, (laughs) I'm not John Cena. And I was just the funniest guy in the world. Mm -hmm. And people used to laugh. I was voted class clown in two different high schools, (laughs) one I never even finished. (laughs) Right. We'll get that. We'll get to there. And so, so at what point did you move out on your own? I'm 17. We'll go right Mm -hmm. to that if you want. So anyways, my father sends me to rehab because I'm drinking beer. 
Oh my God, boo hoo. We used to do a beer ball, but people hated me coming to lunch, beer ball parties, or any BYOB. I'd walk in with a 12 pack, they'd be like, oh no, you gotta go. My buddy brought down all Why these that? liquors. Why is that? Because you because would drink I, too much? I, no, I, I have the, um, I, it took everything. When people took one hit of acid, I needed three. Mm. When people took two caps So they're of like, this guy's going to drink all of our beers? That why they didn't no, want that, you? No, that was my friends, though. They just said, you ain't getting any of ours. Mm. Right. They didn't go, you're going to kick me out of a party. Yeah. But I just was like, yeah, man. So uh, I just started slamming booze. And all right, let's get kicked out of the house. So my dad's like, listen, I just spent $25,000 on your rehab. I said, well, guess what, Dad? I never even knew about acid, mushrooms, or heroin. So thanks a lot. He goes, I spent twenty five grand on that. I said, you didn't spend shit. He, your insurance paid it. So I said, Dad, I got to move out. He goes, you better. So I moved on. I moved in with my brother. My brother, Jeff, he was a roofer. So it was his roommates. I became a roofer. And we all just, I want a trip. So I started taking acid and mushrooms and just being a freak of nature. But the summer ended and I wanted to go back to high school. So I moved back in with my mom. We were the only two white people for 18 blocks. We didn't care. We're not prejudiced. I'm in a high school where the principal's getting his ear half caught off. I said, Mom, I got to quit. It's just crazy. I was playing basketball with the varsity team, and they threw a ball at me. I thought they were throwing at the other guy, and they smashed my nose, and blood went everywhere. Mm. And they just was laughing so hard. Or just I, I had to go. So I joined the Army. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. What? Why? Why do you suppose that there was so much alcohol and drug use? Is there some kind of of secret pain that Shunice is trying oh, to? Oh no, my father never stuck his uh, dick in my ass, and right, my stepmother no. was a slut. But you can watch your father pound your stepmother because that's not your mom. You know what Did I you mean? Watch I would your... never watch my mom. Oh, the whole neighbor's kids. We'd all climb up on the roof. I'd say, bye da, bye da, bye da. Oh, like you selling would, cigarettes on the movie Goodfellas. You would charge the neighborhood kids to watch your dad bang your stepmom. Stepmother. She was Russian. Good people. Good people. How much money did you make in that racket? <laughs> I don't know. I was in eighth grade. Right. <laughs> and uh, and did you ever beat off watching that? Never. No. Okay. It's one thing selling tickets to the neighbors' kids, but damn, yeah. it's your dad's dick, bro. Sound <laughs> <Now>, good? <laughs> and did the and did the kids ever beat off? They were on the roof. Like, how did that uh, work? Uh, well, why would I watch? I get the tickets and go, bro. Okay. I'm down at the Hollywood and did your, drive-in. And did you? <laughs> and, did, <laughs> and did your dad ever <laughs> suspect that you were selling tickets to watch him have sex? Oh, uh, I told him when he told <laughs> my mom that he fucked this neighbor when, before she died. So yeah, I had to get back at him. And what what was his reaction to that? Um, he never. He's just an asshole millionaire like his brothers. I don't talk to any of the shoeys. I don't talk to my son, the mother that came out of him. <laughs> that, probably yeah. the opposite. He came yeah, out of yeah, the mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be weird. But either way, man, Ethan, can we continue on into well, the Well, hold Army on. Stories? No, let's not move along because oh, I'm yeah, fascinated yeah. by... Uh, what's what's happened before the army? What's driven you to that point? I mean, you, a lot. You, you just said a lot. For example, that you don't talk to your Bro, son. I was born a raging drunk. Why don't I you? I was born a raging drunk. I'm gonna tell you something right now. My mom was a raging drunk, and so was I. And you take this AAA meetings that was made up for DWI people. I gotta take six AA meetings before I go back to the court. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you right now, dude, the 12 steps. I found a bottle of vodka on the 13th step and shared it with my mom. She used to have a gallon of vodka underneath the kitchen sink. And now, uh, you, you couldn't even pour water back in and fake it. She says, if you want to drink, don't you pour water back in. So, she used to mark it with a Sharpie. So, mark it with a Sharpie. So, Shu, you, <laughs> what did you I've been, think? I've been snoring drain them all day. It seems like you used to see your mom drunk a lot growing up. Did uh, what, totally. What did you think about that when you would see your mom? Didn't pick, I like, just totally tell drunk? you about AA meetings? I ain't speaking at an AA meeting. I'm a raging drunk, bro. No, Sponsors I know, but were made up for right. Pussies. Okay, I see. You don't. You don't want to go. You don't want to go. Get emotional. We, I, I used, used to, to snow. I used to sneak my mom's vodka. <laughs> Right. It wasn't emotional. I thought a blackout so, in okay, eighth grade. I understand. Was okay. We we don't want to go there, so that's fine. So no, then tell go me this. There. You, go you have deep, a, go deep. Well, Two you, fingers. Yeah, of course. Well what did you what did you used to think when you saw your mom walking around the house drunk? Uh, uh see we were just kids, bro. You didn't care, that was normal. Um she used to go on vacations. Yeah. 
What does that mean? Did you ever find out what that meant? She used meant? to come home and sing songs. She used to come home with a drunk boyfriend, and he thought he could take advantage of her. And then me and my brothers would bounce. You ever seen a drunk guy from a bar get beat up by a six, seven, and nine year old? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, I believe it. At the shoe We're family. all bad motherfuckers. Yeah. That's why I'm going in the UFC. <laughs> yeah. These hands weren't made for knitting sweaters. I, and why, I come from 100 years of boxing, bro. 100 years of boxing. So why haven't you spoken to your own son in so long? How because old is your he's son? A, he, my son's 20 now, but he's just a loser like his mom. They're just this mm. idiotic country folk that don't understand. I spoiled them too much. I had a stepdaughter. She had a uh, girl from another dude. I'll punch you in the face. I ever see you, dickhead. Never a thank you. But either way, I didn't even give a fuck. I just spoiled them. Just get them everything. Get them everything. I got a lawsuit. I fell through a skylight. Broke my back. I like a half a million. Blew it on video games and PlayStation. St. Bernard dogs because they wanted them. Either way. You got to move on, Ethan. You only have one chance at life. And my whole Shoey family, I'm changing my name to Shoe Nice because literally my family is nothing but a bunch of fucking one way cocksuckers, mm. man. And it's sad. My grandmother died and my grandfather died. I was raised Russian Orthodox, thank God, because look at the Catholic Church. But either way, <laughs> I had a grandfather from Russia that loved us more than any motherfucking shoe we ever did. Mm. And, Next question. And, 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 uh... <laughs> Sorry, I think my sheets are here. Your sheets? <laughs> yeah, May's knocking on the door. And so I love hotels, no bills. When you hate the neighbors, they leave in a few days. <laughs> so how you're staying in a hotel? Uh, uh, are you cur- are you uh, currently in a Stop hotel? Stop scratching your neck, Ethan. Are you currently in a hotel? Put your hand down. You're, you're getting me all these distortions. Yeah, no. You got this hippie shit on. I'm like, oh, I'm tripping again. Stop it. <laughs> Shoe nice. Do you think that you would make a good Joker? Jetta Marbles, leave. <laughs> Sorry. She's, yeah. Do you think you would make a good Joker? Oh, man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Mark Simpson, Mark Simpson having sex with the Joker. <sighs> mm, I think that's my vagina you're licking. The Joker? Wow, wow, wow. Jungle ass. You can't handle the tongue. Right, right, sure. Was so, that Michael Keaton, or was that more like... That was a Jack Nicholson, for that sure. Was, you, you know that Heath yeah. Ledger got murdered by the Olsen twins, and they covered it up with a billion dollars. Put that in the title. <laughs> okay. A little liar. <laughs> so, so, Shu, tell me this. You, uh, Hold on, I got a knock on the door. Okay. Huh? Who's that? He's got a dog. Oh, though. got a or dog. Or is that him? Is that just him? Because there was no dog barking hey, before. Come back. I'm on an interview. For the job, is that right? He says it. For a job? Yeah, he's good for a job. <laughs> now, Shu, I, would... I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I told these people. Do you have a dog? Sex. <gasps> yeah, you're right here. Come here, baby girl. <laughs> well, but oh. we hey, her? puppy. So you told him you were on a job interview, Shu. Uh, uh, I don't believe that that was being truthful. <laughs> A job interview. Everything I say, the mystery is the history. The history is the mystery. <laughs> so what? What? Okay, I want to. You're at. A, you're in a hotel. Why are you in a hotel currently? Because I can't stand humanity. And can how do you? For, I've dealt with it for fifty years, Ethan. What does that have to I've do with being in a hotel? All my life, eating Elmer's glue for people like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot. What does that have to do with staying in a hotel? <laughs> Because I got mesothelioma. Chill out. <laughs> what is that? I'm sorry. What is mesothelioma? I, I knew this TV was coming, but we're just a little late. But I told them to go down the hall. But they only got one more TV to deliver. Uh, I'm going to get a new TV today. At your hotel room? Yeah. Well, I, will, will you think I own a house, Ethan? But what, who huh? gets... Who gets? Yeah, you know, will you settle this dude down right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sure. How That's do you jokes. pay? How do you pay a hotel bill? Do you have money? Um, I'm a YouTube entertainer. I get a paycheck every morning from Cameo. That's no. Oh, that's less right. Than Cameo. Twenty. Let's... They pay good. You guys be rich. Can you, you do a Cameo for us right now? Yeah, no problem. Here we go. Yeah, can you do? 
It's my Which birthday. It it's my birthday. My name's Ethan. Oh, it's my birthday. I want to do yeah. Eva's birthday. Okay, go Actually, ahead. Actually, my birthday's coming up. I'm going to turn 32. All right, here we go. <laughs> Old. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> hey, Ethan. <laughs> Ethan, it's me. <laughs> if you say your name's quick, fast, it fucked up. Hey, Ela, shoe nice again. Well, basically, your beautiful husband, Ethan, just paid for a cameo. I charge 15. L.A. Beast charges 40. Either <laughs> way. So your cameo is beefing on other cameo stars. <laughs> um, This is your wife, Ethan. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy Shoot, if I didn't know better, you're to trying to seduce you. my wife. Happy birthday, <laughs> dear Ela. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Can tell us Have a thing. wonderful day. I wish I could see you right now, Ela. Ooh. I know you look pretty. Mm. Thank y'all. Shoo, so let's go to the let's go to the uh, let's go to the army. You sign up for the army. How long did you serve, and in, in what division? All right, here we go, bro. I joined the army because I was in that gangster high school, and the principal got his ear cut off. So I told my mom, I'm just gonna quit and go to the army. It was the last year that you could get in, where you promised the army you got your GED at your AIT station. After that, you couldn't get in without a high school diploma. Mm. I said, Well, what do you got? He's like, I got plumbing and electricity. And I said, Well, I don't want to get shocked. So I took plumbing. Hmm. So I went to basic training, and I was the class clown, always the class clown. And I shaved a question mark in my head. Now, you have your head shaved, but you don't have it fully shaved. And all the homeboys were putting lines back in the Michael Jackson late 80s days. And I said, give me some of that goop. And I put a big question mark in my head with a dot right here. And then I were in chow hall, and I, I already lost my ID. So they were yelling at me, and this one drill sergeant seen me in the barracks looking for this ID because everything just spread out all over the place. You got people that just hate society screaming at you, and I was just like, hey, man. And this guy's like, man, you uh, you realize what's going to happen in Chow Hall? I said, what? Well, and so we go to Chow Hall. You got to take your cap off. I'm in line trying to stand as tall as I can, and I'm looking out of the peripheral of my fan, <laughs> and this sergeant's like, what the? He comes over, he grabs me, he goes, you got a question on your mind, private? Now, I did this in reception center two weeks of just being processed in the, the army to make sure you're not some fool. And I guess I got through. And I that that thing was, he was like, okay, man, you, I got a, you got a question on your mind, private? I got the answer. And they brought me outside and they had a tray of food down on the ground. So I was like, all right, they got to let me eat. So I went down, I pulled up this whatever mystery meat and just sucked it all down. I went through as a New Yorker with a question mark on my head where 90% of the U.S. Army is Southern people that think they're going to still rise again. Hey, rise this, Southern states. So anyways, I just leave. I go to the AIT, and I'm the number one plumber ever. So I'm like the top plumber dog in the Army Reserves as a whatever. So I go home, and I'm like, hey, I'm moving to Florida, so find me a barracks down there for my one weekend a month. Ela must notice. And they're like, no, we don't have anything in Florida. We're going to put you on IRR. And I said, okay. So Baghdad starts getting blown up in 1990, 91. I just fought 20 police officers and won. So I said, yeah, I'm ready for war. So I go off to war, man. And they got this whole process where I'm IRR with a bunch of other bad news bears from the army. And everybody's just like, yo, man, uh, we don't need no plumber. And, and we don't need, you want to be a truck? And then this one sergeant said, uh-uh. That motherfucker going to burn the sheep. <laughs> I said, what? And he said, shit. But I thought he said sheep. And I said, what? There's sheep out in the desert? So I was a shit burner. So I just stirred everybody's shit. And I loved it. 
diesel fuel, human feces. And everybody just said, they all about crazy. It was like a scene from Platoon. I'm just way better looker. <laughs> so is that true? Is that what you, is that what plumbers do out there? You just, you burn yeah, shit? Yeah, because they don't, we don't, we're not running no plumbing in so the desert. So you just burn shit. Yeah. Did and you sometimes ever Sometimes the master uh, sergeant major would come out and you have to uh, go ahead, go ahead cuz I'd be burning the shit but then I had to clean his shit cuz he I didn't put the tin back. I can't put the tin back while the shit's burning and get his ass burned. <laughs> and so that's that some would say that you saw combat out there just by stirring the shit. <laughs> Well, basically, I was in the S and T troops, so we were like two miles behind. We just went into fucking northern Kuwait, and we seen a lot of crazy shit. But it just like it all happened within three days, and then we we're just POWs, blah blah blah. I was standing on the back of a five ton without my cavalier, whatever they call it, helmet, and my sergeant always said wear it. So I got blown off because we were taking these pallets over the dunes instead of driving them in, and uh, fucking huge. Dewey's wind just blew me off. So I wake up in a mash ten with my eye out to here, and they're like, "You want a purple heart?" And I'm like, "I ain't going home. I ain't going back to roofing. I want this shit to last as long as Vietnam." And she's like, "The war's been over." So I went back to my tent, and my sergeant's like, "Uh, you, when are you gonna go home?" He actually sounded like the fucking dude from that movie, me, myself, and Irene. <laughs> so you wanted to stay. You wanted to continue serving to avoid going oh, back yeah. home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just, I decided, I just loved just Shit stirring was your people, calling. Man. Yeah. I just love protecting people, bro. And what, can you go back I to the purple, do you, did laugh. you get a purple heart? No, I, 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 I said, it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So they let the swelling go down and eventually. So what happened? Started. I didn't quite understand. What was the injury you took? I got blown off the back of a five ton acting like an idiot. <laughs> what 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 blew you off? Uh, the down pressure of the helicopter. What we were doing is oh. we we're saving time, so we were hooking pallets of like MREs and whatever. It was mostly just seeing the POWs, but we would just send them over because we had all this fucking barricade, you know, the barbed wire and shit. You had to move it all the time, so we just get one Huey to go in and. I don't know, bro. My sergeant said never talk just, about what happened again. <laughs> you just fell <laughs> you off a truck. You it in my head, man. Yeah. Oh. I, I, I was actually in a... They give you a purple was, heart for falling off a truck. No, I didn't get a purple heart, man. They, I, but, I denied it. They say, yeah. go home. They say, go home. I say, I ain't going home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think, Ethan? About, do you think I'm lying? I gave you my DD-214, bro. I don't think you're lying. I'm just fascinated okay. by... I think it's interesting no, that you... No, I'm, I have a head injury, bro. But you know what the best head injury was? When I fell through a skylight in the Union, man. Tell me about that. I, yeah, I was just like, uh, I got back to this Union. I was like, hey, man, I'm just going to be a Union guy. I'm done with all the roofing, owning. I had a company called Nice Roofing. <laughs> you got a leak, we'll take a peek. And we're not gynecologists. It was on the back of my truck. People loved it. It said, but he, I it said the guy called. Would just, <laughs> they, I was just the guy that would just go to your roof, and I'd be like, okay, I can charge these people four grand. And then a little old lady would come out and say, all right, I'll fucking repair it for 1800 And I, like, I just went broke being too nice. So I should have been named Bad Roofing. Mm. But anyway, so I'm in the union, and this dude's like, hey, go over and grab this shit. This is where I'm in the opiate class action lawsuit. I I'm, I'm getting about a half a million. We'll get to that. So I'm just fucking, and the dude's like, I said, it's raining, bro. He goes, just pull out the lead cords in case the foreman shows up. So I walk by the skylight, but it's painted metal. And I thought it was metal pans. Any dude on a flat, big, huge roof. Picture a football field that just, you know, nothing you've ever been on. And then I was just like, I leaned into the glass and I broke through. And I just went head first and I got this much fucker right here this Damn. is from my uncle throwing me into the fireplace did you sustain this brain damage from that, that? Hit me in the head what do you do you think you took brain damage from that doesn't take a rocket surgeon ethan <laughs> a rocket so anyways, surgeon. So i'm just like i fall through right <laughs> is your mom said that? 
I'm just show? like, yo, okay. I'm looking oh. up at my form and he's like, oh my God. I'm like, how are you in heaven? I fell first. And the dude just like, oh. So I, I ended up going to the hospital for like two weeks, seven vertebrae fractured, learned how to walk again. Did that change? This, did that change kind of how your brain worked after that? Did you feel you were different? Yeah. The Oxycontin did. We're going to get to that. The Oxycontin and then into the VA oh, pills so they you gave ended me. Up, and so you th- were you drinking alcohol <laughs> on Oxycontin too? You could tell when Ethan just like, I do that sometimes too with my <laughs> head. But anyways, yeah, so um, I'm just hanging out right and I'm finally getting out of the hospital, but I'm feeling good. And they're just like, yo. They're just like, we're going to give you Oxycon, hydrocodone, oxycodone, morphine. Pa- I mean, literally, I was fed with all these fucking opiates. Mm. And I was never hooked to opiates. So I get home, and I'm, I'm enjoying life. I'm just sitting there watching, you know, my son play GTA 2. He was about three. He looked up to me and said, Dad, what's a hooker? And so I'm just fucking, my lawyer comes in, he said, I'll get you a million dollars. He got me a half a million, but I was junked out on the opiates for years, man. Finally, I just was hiding in cornfields in my neighborhood. My wife was just like, you're psycho. And I was just like, you know, people always say I left my, I didn't leave anything, man. I left society, bro. And I was just like, Phew. I was just like so junked out on these opiates and I was just like, I got to quit everything right now. And I just threw it all in the fucking swamp. And she said, I oh, still got to go. And the state troopers came up. I said, listen, I own this property. I bought it with my lawsuit. This is a fucking dirty ass bitch that's going to own this place someday. But I'm out of here. I'm taking the Subaru. And I jumped into the Chevy Blazer, just to fool her, and headed on down the road, bro. And this is right when YouTube was blowing up. I had fucking uh, Tosh Point, not Tosh Point, no, World's Dumbest. I had Vice coming at me. I had so many things going on and I was just junked out. I met this chick and I was just eating all their Kalana pins and I was just like, wow. So this your whole true. career was picking up right when you were leaving your family? It was all happening at yeah, the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> if you watch the first videos on the main channel, which is gone, but you can find them, there's 25,000 YouTube videos with my name in them. <laughs> That's a lot of video. That's a lot of content. She, and more was, than you, more than you, H three H three. Oh yeah, um, and and Pootie Pie, it's Shooty Pie. Shooty you know Pie, I mean? that's yeah. right. Yeah. Pootie Pie, what's oh, that? Oh, uh, a million sh- subscribers. It's about sub view ratio, bro. Sure, it's mm-hmm. about sub view ratio, and I'm gonna take over this little H three H three podcast you have, and we're going back out on the streets once Theodore gets in nursery school because <laughs> you'll have time off, bro. You have time off. You have to get back out in the street when you sure. stood there with the dirty sh- jogging shorts or jogging pants, going vape nation. Yeah, people love that. That's true. I you, follow what? every one of your comments. You don't. I follow every one of your comments. <laughs> Which Let's comment? Let's retire before YouTube comments? YouTube's gone. Shoot, let me comments. ask you this. When you left your yes. house, when well, your wife kicked you out of the house, if I'm understanding correctly, was that the first, last time you, you saw ain't... your son? Yeah, yeah. Sad scene. Well, no, we talked on Instagram, whatever, you guys but chat. he's just like me, bro. He's just like my father and my grandfather. When I was a kid, my father fucking left my mom for another dick, and my grandfather hated my father for that. Mm-hmm. And then just my father, I fuck you at 17. I moved out. You can kiss my ass, Dad. I'm moving out. And then my son, at 12 years old, I'm junked out on opiates, but I got clean, and I tried plenty of times to just say, hey, but it's the shoey factor. There's something in our genes, and I'm you so happy. Like- I got 100% of my mom. I got 100. My brothers got a little bit of it because they are. We we just fed the homeless back in the day. We you, picked up a bum uh, to get uh, us a bottle of liquor, but are then you, we take them out I all mean, night. Are you ever concerned that you maybe your I son? I'm concerned feels... about shit, dude. You live one time on this planet Earth, yeah. dude, and you can't let the opinions of people in your world today affect your tomorrow because they won't be in it. Dan well, will tell you, you that. Do you do you ever think maybe? Well. Maybe Do you this have a may- Reese's peanut butter cup yeah. this big? No, I've never seen one. Shoe nice. Let's see it. <laughs> oh my god, where did you get that? What is that? <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> were you saving that? Was that a bit you were waiting for the it right time? My, it was in my liquor bowl. Is that a meal for you, uh, Shoe? 
I can only eat so much chocolate. Yeah. But yeah. if I'm not like LADs puking everything up. Well, come on. You're, you you do- eat tampons and you can't finish a giant Reese's Pieces? I don't know if you guys want to hear that in your microphone. Oh, we're used to that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they, they hear a word. <laughs> All you, right, fuck it. So you should, Half baby. Half a pound Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup. Here we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what's up. That's a pro. I like how you pause for to think about what's happening for a moment. No blink. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Don't blink, no by the way. <laughs> no blink. <laughs> Wow, you are a natural born entertainer, Sheila. I don't even think I drink good to do No, I don't. Sheila, <laughs> I want to ask you how is it possible that you don't blink? When you think about that while you chill. <laughs> this was hard. Ah, it's like, like gum, you know? <laughs> I love how he pauses. <laughs> Dude, this is a crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you need some oh. liquid. Was that alcohol okay. or water? Oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm fine. Oh, my. I mean, the root. So, to the audio <laughs> listeners, he's got a half pound Reese's cup. The biggest I've ever seen. It's pretty much the size of his head. He's stuffing it in his mouth. It's incredibly thick and dense, you can tell. And he's really going at it, man. It's impressive. He put some alcohol in his mouth. How many calories are there, do you suppose? Ten times. He can't talk. It's just slammed. Every inch of his mouth is Reese's out. Oh. Either way. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> he may die right here on stream. He's so red. He's so red. He's starting to look more like Joey World Tour. <laughs> oh man. Oh, dude. He's spitting it out. It's coming off because it's just too much. He spit it out and he put it back in. It looks like feces. It looks so much like feces. I feel like you can't do it. <laughs> oh, no, he's dying. <laughs> he's so red. <laughs> he's so red. <laughs> oh, man, this is a wild one. Wow. I'm so honored to be getting a real shoe knife challenge right here. That's a half of how to reach your speed, Bro, you look like a warrior right now. <laughs> Are you are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Then do this in safe raid. Yeah. Can I walk away? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. So, do you need a wipe up or something? Or are you good? I'm I'm okay. Yeah, you. I just want to touch my new headphones. Do you know how much calories is in that thing? <laughs> Oh my like god. <laughs> Time. No, Time. You, you still got some in your mouth. <laughs> what about this shit? What about oh, this shit in my mouth? Dude, that was so, that was so impressive. Back. Yeah, 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 wipe up, please. Yeah, take a minute. I mean, I, I think I, I need a minute. I think I just. March, <laughs> grab these. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. We just witnessed history. <laughs> Thoughts, he actually had to blink at the end. Did he blink? Sorry, you were watching? He was tearing up. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? How's this interview going? It's an interview? I don't know. It's a performance. Yeah, it's more like. like a one man show. Um... Ian and I are crying back here. <laughs> so hard. Ian is crying. I kind of want to see that. Yeah, both of us. She was really <laughs> something, isn't uh, he? <laughs> that was. So disgusting. <laughs> I mean, it looked like he was eating shit. Yes, it was just it like yeah. human feces. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't think I can ever eat Reese's again. <laughs> I already couldn't before, so now I'm now I'm justified. What if he... I think he may be dead. All I see is I his wall. I was going to Yeah, I mean, he turned so red at one point. 
Oh, God. Well, right now we're just looking at a picture of his wall. He's cleaning up, I think, but hope, I mean, I hope he's not just dead on the kitchen or on the bathroom floor of his Motel 6. Hear him uh, back. Oh, shoot, yeah. lucky brand. Good as new. I told these mofos about three times. I, I, I'm doing Ethan A3 3, but they're Mexicans. I got to get this TV moved in. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what? He said the. <laughs> There's a TV installation, apparently. You guys want to come in here? <laughs> oh, boy. Do I'm they... so sorry. I'm still alive, but come on in. Do you get TVs installed at hotel rooms? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just threw water everywhere. Someone come help me. It's water all over the yeah, laptop. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh man. So, I never lived in a hotel. I don't know. I mean, I've heard of it before, but like at a Motel 6. I don't know if it's I think you're better off just paying rent for a place. I mean, that's yeah. that's like when do you pay I uh, Who could possibly guess? Who could possibly guess what's really going on over there? Thank you. Here he is. Want to say hi on the camera? Yeah, let's see him. Hi, get in here. Come on and say hi. Come on and say hi. Get let's, in here. Let's put him, here. Him in there. put him on the mic. Put him on the mic. Can they hear us? Can they hear us? Uh, he don't as he's seen. Who can, I don't know. can can he hear us? Well, Ethan, I might have to call this, bro. We got to turn off the power and stuff, man. Okay. I'm well, glad you got the Reese's peanut in. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. We were blessed to have that oh time with God. you. It was, uh, it was a lot of, I mean, a lot happened. A lot. We <laughs> learned a lot. You know, I think there was a lot. <sighs> He's an interesting guy. I think if I can recap, we learned a lot of stuff about you. One. It sounds like a very, very rough childhood. Yeah. It's hard to tell what's really going on, and he obviously doesn't like to really talk about it. But I'm like very it, curious, how, who, how does Shoe Nice become Shoe Nice? I feel like it's hard to tell, but it's also not, <laughs> like... Well, yeah. It's obvious that it wasn't a typical... Healthy no. upgrade. Shoe Nice is like a diamond, only under extreme... Pressure and environment can you produce such a brilliant jewel? But is is um You know how sometimes he would make the videos where he's all upset at us and we would be kind of worried <laughs> right But I feel like I'm not worried anymore. It's kind of uh, can you cl uh Dan? I'm just looking at the discord. Yeah, it's on the screen Hold on he stepped away from the mic Okay, he's yeah Well, just don't show that yeah, go ahead. Sorry you I uh, I don't feel like as worried as we were. Uh, you feel as, less worried after that. As like, I don't feel like he's someone who would hurt. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Another person is just a crazy entertainer. I was never really uh, concerned about him coming to our house or anything, but I don't know. I mean, it'd be hard to sit in the same room as him and control that. Uh, <laughs> You would have no control. There's no control. <laughs> There's no control. Yeah. <laughs> but I think he was he was drunk for sure. Mm -hmm. And you know, Shu, he quit drinking a while ago. It looks like he was getting in shape, but he's definitely slammed the bottle right there before us. And it sounds like, and I mean, I'm not saying this to be funny, but it sounds like he has brain damage, some measure of brain damage from all the head injuries. I don't know. He don't, also has a great memory, though. He yeah, was, he has a great... He really has a like, perfect memory. He'll bring up any little detail of our relationship over the years. <laughs> right. But he said he fell out of a window, a skylight, and landed on his head. Mm -hmm. And then he also got a, a serious head damage when he was on tour in the military. Mm -hmm. And falling off a truck, right? Fell off a truck, and they wanted to send him home, but he wanted to keep stirring that shit on fire. And then he was Is in that a, a helicopter thing? crash. Uh, oh, I missed <laughs> yeah. that. He was in a helicopter crash? It was hard for me to follow on it. Yeah, he said he was in a helicopter crash, and then when he was showing the head scar, he also said his stepfather threw him into a wall or something. So the guy so has sustained... A lot, of, a lot of head injuries. Yeah, a lot of head injuries, because... You know, he un he seems like a very bright, and I even want to say, like, quick-witted individual. Mm -hmm. But I think from a lot of drug use and head injuries, he's turned, he's morphed into what we know now know as Shoe Nice. 
But uh, he is nice. He is nice. Yeah, he can be, certainly can be. Wow, I wonder really what. Well, I feel blessed. I mean, that Reese's slam was incredible. <laughs> that was. I'm just. I'm so happy and thankful that. For we, some reason, that seemed harder than like a whole bottle of vodka. Yeah, for him, vodka's like water. <laughs> He's like slamming a bottle of water. That Reese's was the hardest thing I ever saw. Um, oh, we almost did an hour dance set. Okay, great. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, guys, Shoe Nice is on, um, he's on, uh, f- what is it called? Cameo? Cameo, let's, yeah. Let's make sure that he can stay in Motel 5 as long as he needs. And, uh, he's also on YouTube. I don't know what his YouTube is, though. He said he wanted 5,000 subs, but I don't know. He changes his YouTube channel every week. What's his main... What is his main YouTube channel, Dan? Uh... The most recent one he seems to always be uploading on is called Shoe Nice Official <laughs> Channel. Uh, he's got 100K subscribers on it. So oh, really? Yeah. Let's take a look. 104K. Oh. <laughs> Shoe Nice Official Channel. I guess. He posted a video. Hey, everyone. Shoe Nice again. Well, basically. Oh, I don't have January the screen. Of 2020, two big things are is that right? Oh, you can switch the input on the TV back over to yours if you want the screen. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, one hour ago, H3 Shoe Nice, long-awaited collab, 15 seconds. Try now, Ethan. Hey, everyone, <laughs> Shoe Nice. <again. laughs> Guys, take it easy. I'm uh, about five minutes away from being on H3 H3 <laughs> Podcast. If you never heard of them, subscribe now, because you'll never hear a story told like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it, wasn't that true? <laughs> well, um... That's it. I mean, how do, I mean, there's no better way to end the show than that. I mean, yeah. how else do we? How else do we? Uh, it left uh, me with so many mixed emotions. It's uh, I, well, I wanted to ask more, but he does. He didn't really want to get the into whole the whole thing with his family and his son. Sound r- really sad. Yeah, deep, deep sadness. Yeah, and I have no idea what's really going on with them, but it sounded rough. And like, I don't know. Sounds kind of lonely, but he does have a dog. Certainly. That's cool. Yeah. Well, um, who really knows what go- goes on over at uh, Shoe Nice headquarters, but we thank him for coming on the show and opening his his life to us um, from this, you know. Mm. <laughs> what I was wondering, is that a meal for Shoe Nice, the Reese's hit? Unless he puked it all out. We didn't get to ask him if he does that. I had so many questions for sure. Well, we'll have to get part two. We'll see. (laughs) Uh, I think it was fascinating. Yeah. I was intrigued. I was captivated. Do you think that I would be a good Batman to him being the Joker? Yeah. I'd watch that. (laughs) I'd watch that. (laughs) It'd be awesome. Directed by Tommy Wiseau. (laughs) I guess that's it, huh? I guess so. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, hmm. I might replace you with shoe nice. That's okay. <laughs> Get I can problem. understand yeah. that. It's very entertaining. <laughs> I'll replace Dad with shoe nice. <laughs> that your guys' jobs are safe. That's okay. I give my job to shoe nice. <laughs> Help him out. I think he needs it more than me. Um. Hmm. I'm speech. I'm rather yeah, speechless. Yeah, I'm kind of. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot to process. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm happy with it, you know? I am. I, I do feel blessed. That cameo is probably the best birthday gift. Apologies, Ethan. You did get me some good gifts, but that you was know, pretty good. I like the way he framed it. Like, I went like and you got, got it for you. <laughs> right. like, it was like, I like that. That was nice. <laughs> that was thoughtful. Of him. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, we'll be back on Friday. And, um... Do we have do we have any guests lined up, Dan? Is there anything I happening? I don't Just think so. Just good old fashioned times, my dudes. Mm-hmm. Okay. We always say Friday, but we don't post till Saturday. That's now. true. So we start saying true. we'll see you Saturday. Yeah, we'll see you on Saturday. The, the, nothing on this show makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, we we record on Friday. We post Saturday morning, as this is recorded on Tuesday, and will be posted on Wednesday morning. You know what's weird too is that we're gonna pause this and then we're gonna go record the first the part. Beginning. Yeah, you're killing the illusion, man. Well, it's the band of the show. Nobody watched this. <laughs> oh, God. Don't tell anyone. If you watch this deep, say 
Wow, I can't believe Ethan has lost so much weight. He looks incredible. The intermittent fasting window really seems to be working, and the vegetarian lifestyle is kind extremely healthy. Kind of a great system too. that you developed here, because you really don't remember that you asked them yeah. to say that, and then. And I didn't even fall out of a skylight on my head. <laughs> it's a great motivational. Yeah. Thing. I do think that you are losing weight, but I will. I actually don't want to say anything. So forget about what I just said. Okay, forgotten. <laughs> Shoe nice. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on Friday. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you for watching. Shoe nice again. Thank you. Thank ya. ya.